back to my channel. So I know you guys have seen all of the straightening brushes out there that don't work for curly hair or textured hair. You try to use them, but it's like, this is not actually doing anything to my hair, but making it look super duper frizzy and unmanageable and terrible. I have been on the prowl for something similar to a straightening brush, but one that actually works for textured hair. So I was at Sally's and I found this tool. It's the Ion Steam Pro. It's this right here. So this is actually a straightening brush. I think it's considered a straightening iron of sorts. I don't really know because it's kind of a combination of a lot of different things. So one of the great things about this tool is that it is steamed. So it's going to use steam to heat your hair up and also add shine and moisture and all that. You actually add in water here. And then it also has the teeth here that you guys can see. The teeth are what, you know, create that tension on your hair. And that's what a lot of the straightening brushes have. They're like brushes with teeth, right? But they don't actually have anything to hold on to, which is why you can't really do you know, textured coarse hair with it because it doesn't have anything to like hold on to, right? So I saw this and I was like, oh my gosh, I have to try this because there's so many variations of this straightening brush out there, but not any that actually I've seen that work for me. Now, the first time I tried using this iron, I used it on damp hair, like straight out the shower, towel dried hair, and it worked. So I was like, okay, it's working on my hair right now, what would it do if I actually like planned out a style and, and did a video and everything? So I decided to do a video for you guys about this because I was like, I have to share. So this time, as you guys can see in this video, I washed my hair a couple days ago. I added a little bit of cream just as a leave-in for some moisture and then braided my hair up. I hadn't touched my hair in like two days and then I was ready to, you know, use this iron. So my hair is obviously still very textured, de very defined and shiny and everything and detangled, which is why I was in braids originally because my hair was already detangled. So all I had to do was brush it out and pull different sections and literally just use the iron and it works really really well if you are somebody who likes to straighten their hair every now and then or blow it out to um to do different styles because blowing out your hair is not just for straightening it with an iron like you may want to be like me and like use a curling wand or use flexi rods on blown out hair like I know so many girls that are natural that blow out their hair for so many different styles outside of just using heat and so I started using this and I realized I was like well I wouldn't necessarily say this straightened my hair but I definitely got it to a point where it is blow dry ready like done like this is how my hair looks when it's blow dried out and so I was like you know what this is a great alternative for that for a blowout let's not call it a straightening brush okay for at least us as curly girls but let's say that this is a great alternative to blow drying your hair it's so fast okay that's another thing I literally did my whole head in less than 20 minutes like I can't even diffuse my hair with a blow dryer with my curls in 20 minutes so the fact that I got to do that with this was amazing and it lessens the amount of time that you're spending manipulating your hair. I also was reading online that a lot of women use this on their textured hair and after a couple days of like being out in the elements and stuff like that, they said that their hair didn't revert back as easily as it would, you know, usually whenever they got it blown out and I think it's because even with my hair, if I blow out my hair and straighten it and stuff, a lot of times it will revert back really fast. But I know that if I do a really good blowout, like when you get a really good blowout, your hair does not revert back. And so I think it's because your hair has enough moisture in it while you're blowing it out that it doesn't, you know, reach out into the atmosphere for more moisture because that's what your hair does when it gets frizzy. It's it's looking for moisture. So it, you know, it goes out because it's like I need moisture from somewhere. I've got to get it from the elements of the air or whatever. And so whenever you have a really good blowout, that's when your hair just lays flat, stays good because your hair is moisturized, okay? So that's one of the things with steam is that steam is really moisturizing and it gives you that shine and everything whenever you are you know 
using steam so usually i just steam my hair when i deep condition but when i saw a way to add steaming into my straightening or heat you know styling routine i was like yes like why not and so i really really like this a lot it's something that i haven't seen really anybody using or trying out um but i'm like yo yeah y'all need to try this and so i think it's on sale at sally's i just looked it up online just to make sure i had a good kind of idea of the product I looked it up online it's on sale right right now I think it's like 10 bucks off so you guys should definitely check it out there um that's where I think Ion is exclusively at Sally's so you may not be able to get it anywhere else actually you know what no I think I've seen Ion at some like beauty supply stores but anyway I got this one from Sally so go check it out at Sally's also if you guys haven't seen I posted about this on Instagram last week but I am so freaking excited because I got my pin from YouTube Black, they are from YouTube. So YouTube Black is a community here on YouTube that they basically brought us all together, a bunch of black creators, last year in LA, and it was like this whole event, and it was amazing. And they've been doing lots of events for us, you know, in LA and in New York and different places all over the globe. And so they treated us to these really awesome pins in celebration of Black History Month and showing that they support us as black creators. And so not only did they send us you know personalized pins of ourselves but they sent us a ton for you guys so I posted about it I was so geeked I was so hyped I was like this is like the coolest thing ever and so I'm so excited to be giving you guys some of these pins and so the last couple days I've been really thinking about what's the best way to get them out to you guys this is the plan okay this is the plan if you want a pin this is what you got to do first you got to go to my website jadekendall.com now I know I've been kind of pushing my website a lot lately and it's because you guys it's because let me let me tell y'all about something okay I don't own Instagram I don't own my YouTube account I don't own my Twitter account but guess what I do own I own jadekendall.com and every one of your favorite bloggers and youtubers who do have websites they own those domains if Instagram died tomorrow, if YouTube died tomorrow, like what would I have? I would have jadekindle.com. So I'm trying to create this space where jadekindle.com is like the hub for everything because I want to be able to connect with you guys directly and that's a way that I can directly connect with you guys as well. Obviously I connect with you guys via comments and stuff like that but on the website it that's going to be like forever and ever I'll always be connected with you guys so that's what I'm trying to do I'm trying to push you guys over there because I don't want you guys to get lost in the sauce of like all these different accounts and whatever is new on social media I mean think about it vine was popping what three four years ago and now it's dead so I don't want Instagram to be you know popping now and then four years five years from now it's dead and like y'all are just kind of like lost in the distance right but jadekendall.com will live forever okay as long as I can help it, God, and as long as it's in your will, God, <laughs> it will live forever. So first, you got to go subscribe to my website. Second, shoot me an email with your name and your address. And that's it. That's all you got to do. Two things. So what will happen is on March 10th, that'll be the last day you can send your info in. Okay, y'all? That's, that's it. That'll be the cutoff. And on March 10th, I'm going to randomly choose 50 people out of those subscribers to get a pin. Now the really dope thing about this whole thing is that you guys don't just need my pin, you need all of our pins, okay? So I know that people are gonna be coming out and like sharing ways that they're, you know, sending these pins to you guys. So make it like a collector's thing. I'm definitely hitting up all my friends that I know have pins and say, hey, send me one of your pins. Like I wanna support you. And so I think it's just like a cool thing just in general, like supporting each other and showing that we appreciate, you know, each other's contributions to the culture I think it gets really isolating sometimes doing what we do because it's so competitive so 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 competitive and um, we don't we don't love on each other enough and I think that you know a way to show love is to rock one of your youtubers favorite pins one of my youtubers favorite pins some of my friends pins you know and so I'm excited about it that's all you got to do to get my pin is just go to the website subscribe show love Send me your email and your, well not your email, but send me your name and your address and I will pick the 50 people on March 10th so you have until then to get it done and then I'll be shooting out so it'll be like little surprises out to you guys because I'm not going to announce who's going to get them, okay? So all, of, all that's going to happen is that March 10th, you guys know that's the cutoff day and maybe a few days or a week later you might get something in the mail. <laughs> okay.
Okay, y'all. I love y'all so much. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Thank you, YouTube, for the pins. Like... That's the best type of gift I think you can give us is a way to celebrate us and acknowledge like our really awesome content, but at the same time, celebrating you guys as viewers, as our fans, as our subscribers, as our audience that we cater to every time we upload content. Like we're thinking of you. So I think that was the best way that YouTube could celebrate us for Black History Month. It feels super special to be appreciated and makes me feel really warm and fulfilled and happy to be on this platform. So thank you YouTube, y'all are the best, I love y'all. And I love you guys, you know, my subscribers, you guys are the reason why I'm here, the reason why I do what I do, the reason why I get to live the life that I do. And I'm so appreciative of all the blessings that have come my way through this platform of YouTube. So I appreciate y'all, obviously YouTube appreciates y'all and wants to give you guys something through me. So I'm happy to do that. So yeah, don't forget to, you know, subscribe and all that but yeah just know that you're appreciated and you're loved i love y'all and i will see you guys in my next video bye